What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all so much for being here. So in today's video, obviously it's looking a little different. Um, so yeah, let me chat about it. If you guys ready, let's go ahead. Let's jump right in. All right, you guys, so like I said, I'm gonna have to keep changing arms because I'm holding my phone today. Um, whew, I get a little tired. I'm really thankful for a um, phone holder. What's that called? Yeah, that thing. Um, I cannot think of what the heck that's called, but anyways, um, it's probably really loud out here. Um, we're outside, actually I'm outside with the dogs and there's obviously traffic, but I don't know if y'all can tell. Let me see if I can bring it down to like, yeah. That's bad, real bad, real bad. Um, so we're outside, we're doing yard work today and the rest of the family is hopefully in getting ready. Um, so yes, I have sunglasses on, hello. Um, absolutely no makeup or anything, sorry. Love y'all to death, but there is absolutely no point in doing all those things uh, to come out here and get hot and sweaty and do yard work. So um, I wanted to jump on here real quick before we get into to this because this video is gonna look different obviously I have absolutely no clue how it's gonna go but I know that um, we've got to get yard work done and I need I'm keeping my commitment I'm gonna get a video out there for y'all and so um, I just brought y'all along with so I'm gonna try to as we're going through and doing different things um, I don't know maybe it'll be more like a little vlog um, it may go out a little bit later this afternoon I'm not sure we'll see we're just gonna see what happens but I do want to chat with y'all about something that has really been um, on, oops, sorry, on my heart this week. I started reading a new book called Soul Revolution by John Burke, and it's really good, and it talks about um, kind of doing a 60-60 experiment. I think I talked about it last week, but I'm on chapter, I'm about to start chapter four, and only four chapters in, y'all, and this book has been just like, okay, I feel like I need to make eye contact. Y'all don't pay attention to these dark circles. Or, no, let's keep these on. Um, y'all are like, whatever, we don't care. Um, plus it's really bright out here. Um, but so this book is about a 60, 60 experiment. And so basically it is, you spend every 60 minutes each day for 60 days, you think upon the things of God. And so you talk to God and you, it's not like you just have to automatically like get your life back, but it could be like that 60 minutes. Like you, you set a watch timer is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it on my phone and for my Apple Watch. And so every 60 minutes, I'm assuming except for when you're sleeping because that would really stink, um, but like on Sundays, so even while you're at church or while you're at work, every 60 minutes that watch is gonna go off. It'll either vibrate or something. It'll tell me like, hey, think think upon you know God. Like maybe it's a bad time and I'm really frustrated or overwhelmed. I can be like, God, I'm really overwhelmed right now, but I just need you to speak to me and tell me how, how I should react in this situation. or. Lord, you know, I'm about to go into this whatever situation and I really want to, but I know that I'm not supposed to. I know that it's probably a sin and it's gonna lead me to sin. So how, so Lord, I'm just really needing you right now to just speak to me and tell me no. <laughs> whatever it is, just be real with God and just keep that, you know, like in First Thessalonians, it says, pray without ceasing. So this is keeping, it's supposed to help you keep that open conversation. Because I think a lot of times we can say we do that through the day. Like we don't say amen in the morning prayer until like that evening or whatever. But how often do we really just think upon and get real with God? Like um, it could be a sin that you're caught up in and like you're about to partake in that sin and your watch goes off. And you're like, God, I don't want to give this up. Like, I want to have that extra drink. I want to have that extra brownie. I want to go into bed with that, that dude. I want to do these things. I want to go to that bar. I want to go to that strip club, whatever it is. And um, that watch goes off and you have that open communication and you've trained yourself to do this, that it kind of turns your mind from it. So therefore, like I said, I'm outside. So dogs are barking. You can see Mavericks over here. Um, therefore, y'all see how tall that grass is to him. Y'all, I'm, I'm embarrassed by this, but it is what it is. Thankfully, it's not like that in the front yard or we'd be in trouble. Um, but whatever it is, like it helps you have that communication open with God. So even in your weak moments, he's there and he is ready to help take you um, out of that situation or help you in that relationship or whatever it is. So that's just really been on my heart. And so 
I don't know. I'm excited to see um, kind of what else comes from this book. Again, it's Soul Revolution by John Burke. And pray without ceasing. That's been my... Um, I think a lot of times we can put prayer almost ritualistic and thinking that we have to say, you know, our morning prayers and our, our, you know, meal prayers and our evening prayers and even those prayers throughout the day where we spend our 15 minutes in prayer or whatever it is that you spend, you get to spend. But literally every single day thinking upon, every single day, every single minute of every day, thinking upon, God, how would you have me react in this situation? What would you have me do? How would you have me act differently in this situation and if you keep that open that's how we truly like live for him in every moment and that's how we truly live out um being as closely connected and as intimate with him as possible and so yeah i'm just i'm eager to see how that goes um but i think that's about it um i need to get up out of this chair that i've got sitting here and actually start picking up y'all i'm gonna show you i'm gonna pause for a minute turn the camera around and show y'all just how bad this backyard is. I love our backyard when it's clean and nice and kept, but we've just had some really, we had such a dry spell that we didn't have to mow. And then all of a sudden it was just like rain, 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 busy, 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 school starting. And just, we like, it got out of control. Like how, hmm, that, that'll preach, won't it? Um, it just got out of control so quickly. And so, yeah, let me show you guys. Um, and then we'll see where this video takes us. All right. All right, you guys. So first things first is um, opening our gate so that we can get into the back and get all this stuff out. It is just as bad. Oh y'all, it is hot out today. Sorry y'all are getting a really good picture of the gate right now. Oh jeez. But see, thankfully our front yard is not nearly as bad, but we have all these sticks like that that have got to get picked up. So we gotta get on that. Okay, then we go into the backyard and yeah, this is, y'all, it's just, it's awful. It's so awful. So, we've got all these kind of big, all oh, this, just so embarrassing. But, I mean, it's life. This is what real life is. I ain't trying to sugarcoat nothing for y'all. It is total real life. Um, so, we have huge sticks like this that we've got to pick up. There's several more over there. Um, and then, y'all, this is just so, like, look at all that grass. It's going to be bad. This wire, I don't know if you can see this wire. This fell. We don't use it for anything. I think it's for like cable or something. It's been here and tree limbs fall on it all the time. But yeah, that is the extent of everything we have to do. So, we've got to take all of these and we will actually pull them down to, I guess Hayden's going to play basketball instead of help pick up sticks. But we take them down to the road. Addison's running because she doesn't want to be in the video. Um, like I said, Hayden's going to play basketball apparently. Should have helped pick up the yard. No, he will. Um, but thankfully, where we live in city limits, we can just take all of our sticks and all that down the road and pray there's no little slithery things because we found them out here before. And then we can just put them right here in this area. There's already one from something. Um, you can just drop it. So I need to be a little closer to the road. And they'll come by and pick it up um, later sometimes. Like after they get trash and all that kind of stuff. They come and do that. So anyways, that's what we're going to do right now. It's kind of like we talked about last week, the pre rinse We're going to go and <laughs> pre-clean the yard so that we can actually mow and not run over these big massive like that was even caught in the tree um but not get caught on these big sticks and tear up the mower it's kind of funny how i'm now i'm like turned around i don't know which way to walk there we go um so we're gonna do this get this part of the yard cleaned up so that we can mow and i can feel better about my life all right y'all Tell me you're in ministry without telling me you're in ministry. You find random balloon pieces literally all over your yard. Yeah. Hayden found one. All right. Hayden found one taller than him. Yeah. It's like a whole tree. A little bit taller than me. Look at the doggies. They don't like this kind of time. 
because they don't get to come outside because we have the gate open and they escape. So if they knew how to stay in the fence, it'd be different, but they don't. So, anyways, look, I like the blooms. There's our girl. She matches the blooms. Look, pink and pink. What? You match the blooms on the tree. Y'all, mm -hmm. it's real hot out here. Um. I keep saying I'm so ready for fall, but like I'm really ready for fall temperatures. Are you ready for fall? Mm -hmm. Yes, totally. So this is where we keep our lawnmower and it is locked. So I've got to open that um, and get it out. And y'all, I'm scared of this place. So conquering a little bit of a fear and actually Hayden's probably gonna come have to help me. Chris is almost out here too. Um, he was finishing up with a morning meeting. Um, so yeah, let's get out the lawnmower. Okay. <laughs> Did you say it's scary? Yeah. You may have to help me, dude. Yeah, hold the lock or unlock it. Just unlock it. So you're about to see why this place scares me. To I don't know. My mom bought that. I think the key's back. Oh, maybe the wrong key too. I know they're on there. I think it's this one. Okay. How many people does it take? My life. Okay. It's oh, the no, it's this one. No, it's not that one. No, it's not. This it's, one? No, that's a... Dude, it's one of these. It's gotta be this one, then. Okay. It's, Hold the lock. It's, like, rusted. No, it's not. It helps if you, you put go. it in the right way. It helps if you turn it the right way. Okay, well, you do it, then. Y'all, this should not take this long. How many people does it take? It may be the other one. Do the gold one. This should not take this long. The right way. Other way. Oh. No, other way. Yay. Look at us go. Look, it's so easy when we select the right key. Hmm. Yep, turn it. Oh, yep, that's gonna turn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel like this is where horror movies take place. Look at all the cobwebs. Hey, and that's all you, buddy. Mm. Oh, it's hot. Okay. Now prayers that it actually works. Break on. There's so many. Oh, oh there's all these little spiders. But, um, that's not one of my scaredisms. Okay. Scaredisms? I'm glad there's a lot of little spiders on this thing. Okay. say that's one of the great things about having kids there's many great things but the fact they can help with yard work it's fabulous all right y'all so I came inside to fix some water for everybody um Hayden and Addison already have theirs but um it is hot out there so just like when it's hot outside and staying hydrated is important whether you're working out or doing yard work or you work out in the heat on a daily basis, bless you people who do that. I commend you. <sighs> he did not create this girl for heat. Um, a lot of it's a little unhealthy at the moment, but we're not going to go there in this video. So we've done that enough. <laughs> um, but um, of course, another thing hit while I was sitting here and the dogs are going to whine because they are locked. Hold on. You can see over there, they're locked out of the 
going outside and they're mad about it. Um, but anyways, um, but another thing hit me while I was sitting in here fixing water and I wasn't going to record and all that kind of stuff. So I went to get the tripod because my arm was hurting. Um, but how crazy is it that it is the living water that we need to make sure that we have on tap. <laughs> and I hate to even think of it as like a, being on tap like because but it is it is there for us at all times and if we would thirst just like i'm thirsting for like a real good cold h2o right now if we would thirst for the living water in everything we do like thirst for jesus christ thirst for what he wants you to do how he wants you to react in every situation how he wants you to you know talk to that coworker. I feel like I have bugs crawling on me, sorry. But how he wants you to react to those kids when they're just not paying attention to you or listening to you. How he wants you to react when your spouse does something that you just don't necessarily agree with or just kind of rubs you the wrong way or how he wants you to um, just live life and do life for him. And the only way we can do that is being plugged in and tapped into that living water at all times, all the time all the things, all the time. And so, I don't know, that just really struck me. And it's just crazy how the more you stay tapped into him and the more you stay tapped into his word and what he has for you and literally just asking like, God, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to, you know, be in this situation. I don't know how to react in this situation. Help me. And then maybe it's a situation like, you know, there are some sins that we can get caught up in. And I don't know what your sin is. Maybe it's, for me, sometimes it's that overindulgence of food. It's that taking that one extra bite. It's coming home and having, you know, a snack and then another snack, or it's coming home and, or it's having the dessert when you said you weren't gonna have dessert. Or, you know, it could be for you, it may be that pornography website. It may be um, that, that relationship at work that maybe has gone just a little bit too, you know, far into the wrong way, if you get my drift. Or maybe it's, um, you know, having that one extra drink that takes you into drunkenness. Maybe it's, I don't know what it is. I don't know what your thing is, you know. Um, but there's always going to be that one, the biggest sin of all, and that's putting anything above God. Anything we put above God, like all the other sins, trickle down from that. And so if we just tap into the living water and God alone and His Word and what He wants for us above all else, He's going to help us in all those individual sins because we're going to go to Him first as opposed to just going into that desire that, you know, I want that extra drink. I want that extra dessert. I want that extra, you know, slice of cake that leads to the whole cake. I want that, you know, click on that pornography website. I want to watch that video. I want to, you know, have that hug or that, that kiss, that just that one that leads into an extramarital affair. I want to have that, whatever it is, just that one. But if we have that one right of putting God above everything else, tapping into the living water above everything else, he's going to help us in all those other things. And it's just that daily, every moment of every day. You know, I kind of go back. I used to teach the youth. If spend five minutes alone with God a day, just start there. And that is a great place to start. But if you are wanting more and you are wanting to be a growing Christian, it takes way more than five minutes. It takes every minute of every day. Are you going to achieve that in perfection? Probably not. But if you're striving every single day to spend more and do more tomorrow than you did today, to be more righteous and more holy and more centered upon God instead of centered upon self, that's all we can do. That's all we can strive for. That's the least we can do. See what God does. So, y'all, I'm going to get back outside and... <laughs> because my family's gonna be like, what is she doing in there? Um, because when we do yard work, it is a family thing. Um, the only way you get out of yard work is if you've got you're sick and puking and bleeding or fever or something like that, or you had pre other plans and you're out of the house and you're not here, or you're doing something else in the house, meaning clean your room, cleaning the bathroom, cleaning the kitchen, doing laundry, like progressively doing laundry, that kind of thing. So you don't get out of yard work around here. So I'm gonna go out there and figure out something else I can do. Um, I know Chris is mowing. Um, Hayden's probably out. He actually is probably taking a little break playing basketball. Um, I think Addison, I've got her sweeping the back deck off in the porch. 
and then she's gonna work on her trampoline because it's covered and needs to be cleaned off as well. So, all right guys, we'll see what else um, happens outside. I'll take a few more videos and then we'll definitely wrap this video up a little bit later. All right. Y'all, I have to show you guys, I'm so excited. Um, I know this is gonna be crazy, but we have, we're out on the back porch and like I said, Addison was sweeping and I just opened up our umbrella and before, a couple summers ago, we had a bat. And I don't know if y'all know, but bats do eat mosquitoes and bugs and all those kind of things. And so I'm gonna show you because we've got another little bat friend um, up there. So I'm gonna end up putting the umbrella down, but I wanna show him to you first. All right, you guys. All right, you guys. So I don't know, hopefully you can see him up there. He was just moving his little hands a minute ago, but I'm gonna leave him alone. Hi, little bat friend. How cute. Are we gonna name him? I don't know. Batty. Batty? No. That sounds bad. <laughs> I don't like Batty. What was the one off of, what was our other one's name? Okay, so there you go. There was, I think we decided on Batman, I guess. Um, but we're gonna put the umbrella down so that he can sleep in peace and stay and think that he's home. We wanna build a bat box. So if you've ever done one of those before, let me know, cause we're interested in getting one so that they have a place to stay and be comfortable. Um, he's kind of moving around. So I think we're gonna close the um, radar. That was his name. go guys that oh my gosh y'all this is hot mess I'm about to go and <laughs> jump in the shower my son is watching me through the door being awkward but um 
so we got our yard done we still um, we didn't weed eat um, yeah our weed eater broke a while back and I hate it because I think it's new but um, I don't know anyways I know it's not working and I'm pretty sure that's not just my husband's um, way of getting out of weed eating because he's actually like y'all saw him he's uh, doing roundup <laughs> he said that was his edging for the day but we still got weed, eat, weed eating stuff that needs to be done um, but we can't can't do that right now so anybody wants to donate to the um, weed eater fund um, then by all means no I'm joking but um, yeah I'm gonna jump off here and wrap this up go jump in the shower and eat something because I'm starving starting to get a little bit of a headache I don't know if y'all are like that but um, it just looks so much better y'all absolutely the dogs are gonna love it once see we got to do weed eating here um, let's see if I can Oh, there we go. I gotta figure out what right there needs weed eating. This all needs weed eating and that kind of stuff. Um, so it kind of stinks we can't do that, but it's all good. Anyways, I can jump off here, get in the shower, wash with. I've learned a trick, and y'all know this. My dad taught me this. So we um, we do have a lot of poison ivy around here, and one of the things I'm very allergic to it, so I will break out in it if I leave it on my skin cold water so yes i start my shower super cold and blue dawn and like scrub the mess out of all over my entire body and wash my clothes immediately and that usually helps i did not do that last time and ended up with some really bad poison ivy so yeah we're gonna do that but hope you guys have enjoyed this random day kind of in the life of us doing yard work um as a ministry family and let me know what you think because this has been kind of a different one um, if you like these kind we'll see what happens we may do more of these um, and I try to do them throughout the week as opposed to trying to get it on Saturday and then go edit and then get it out and all the things but uh, maybe we'll do a Sunday day in the life because our Sundays are insane usually um, but yeah let me know what y'all think love you guys so much definitely if you like these kind of videos give it a big thumbs up it literally just makes them smile you can click that subscribe button it'll um, yeah, click the subscribe button. Become one of the fam. Um, I think I'm not doing a lot of 31 videos anymore, so I'm starting to kind of lose some people, which that's going to happen because we're going to be all about Jesus here um, and life videos and all that. But I do have another Amazon Try Before You Can Buy package coming in, and I'm really hoping that the funds work out. I've got two boxes that I really, really, really want to um, subscribe to. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to wait till Christmas, but I may because my mom always likes to do that kind of stuff. So, um, but I'm really hoping I can go ahead and the funds will work out that I can get those incorporated because they're only like $30 a month. So anyways, I'm going to quit rambling. Love you guys so much. Um, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and until next time, bye y'all.